Till death do us part. The Lodge cannot protect those that leave its safe walls. Best to... Might I trouble you for the use of your talents? I require a book. A tome. What could be more harmless? Somewhere in the archives rests a cookbook of fathomless darkness. The Nibble Nomicon. Speak with the librarian, Harry. She may know where it is hidden. I once kept the tome safe when the shadows were young. Now the spell text is laid bare for any fool with a library card. Silence and Sensei Tug of the Umbral Void. Let's just open up with first impressions. Anybody? Well, I thought he whose name is Oblivion's earlier works were better. Night by Alana of Loss read like a children's book. I mean, I barely descended into gibbering madness and I read it twice. I don't know. I thought he whose whatever did a pretty good job. It's a lot easier to follow than Eidolons of Loss 1 through 8. Well, that's just the problem, isn't it? I didn't join an eldritch book club to not go mad in an all-consuming quest for forbidden knowledge. Well, that's your opinion. I happen to like it. All right, brothers. Settle down. Brother Lexios, what did you think of the author's decision to describe the Great Ones in text rather than unknowable dread glyphs scrawled in the blood of a willing acolyte? Well, I found it needlessly reductive, hardly befitting one such as... <gasps> He whose name is Oblivion, the Forgotten One, sleeper beyond the gate of silence and sensei tongue of the umbral void, but I'm sure Brother Codex would disagree. Honestly, I hardly noticed a difference. What? Didn't notice? Did you even read the book? Well, I listened to the books on Echo version while doing laundry, but I got the gist. The gist? You got the gist of the Forgotten One's ninth Eidolon of Lost listening to it on an Echo. Githian, give me strength. Is this a book club or an Echo Club? Honestly. Brother Codex, I have to say I kind of agree with Brother Lexios here. We all agree to read the book, not to listen to it. Listening to it is reading, with your ears. It's really not. There are subtleties and nuances in the text you just can't capture through a recorded reading. Well, if I read the text for too long, I start to get a headache. Yes, Brother Codex, that's kind of the point. That's just what the onset of Eldritch Madness feels like. I can go plenty mad listening to the Forgotten One's ramblings, thank you very much. Well, speaking of the author, we mustn't neglect... Don't say the author's intent. The author's intent! Here we go again, you and your Githian damned authorial intent! If he whose name is Oblivion, the Forgotten One, sleeper beyond the gate of silence, and sensate tongue of the Umbral Void had wanted me to read the book, maybe he should have used better handwriting, or gotten an editor, or added some Githian damn illustrations! You would have the Ninth Eidolon of Loss be reduced to a comic book. What's next? Adapt it to a movie? Don't give him any ideas. Fine! You know what? I'll just read it right now, shall I? And what? We'll just sit here in silence waiting? Yeah! Sounds great! Fine! Fine! <laughs> 
Here to requisition one copy of the Nibble Nomicon? You need a library card. But I can hardly hear you over this blasted bonded book club. No one is taking anything out until I can hear myself think. Now you'll need the proper credentials. Acquire the library card and I shall look the other way. that the Nibble Nomicon is located in the Forbidden Stacks. Though I should warn you, everyone who's ever checked that book out has met a terrible fate. Late fees!
account.
is revealed. Quickly now. Pick it up. Finally! I've been freezing my deckled edges off over here. Get me out of here before I get all moldy! It seems there are others who share my literary interests. Know about your dark business and... Feeding the bird. its recipe for mojito. Some say it was penned by Tetra, the mad scribe of Athena. Others say it was vomited from the void, sickened by a sin so black that even darkness turned away. There are even whispers that it was copied and pasted from the cooking blog of death herself. so I can get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, you found the book. Well, go on, give it here. Now, I'll just open it to stamp the date here on this perfectly innocuous end page, and, and what's this? Some kind of recipe? Uh, I can stop reading it. Oh! Ah, shame. 
Till death do us part. Wonderful. Just leave it on the bar so that I may attempt one of its recipes. Oh, you did it! Those evil weirdos are gone, and we have got ourselves a what? Okay, but shouldn't we retreat to a minimum safe distance or something? No need to worry. I am quite proficient in such rituals. But what to make? Damned chowder? Too salty. Sugar-free sugar cookies? Too evil. Perhaps? <laughs> yes, of course. Xylorgos queso. For this recipe, I must summon the foulest, most profane substance known to the Nibble Novicon. Clotu, cilantro, nicto. Were you just about to say something? No? Oh, okay. It just looked like you were about to say something. Now, carefully transmit the final ingredient to the cauldron over the fireplace. I'm not the first to pick up and start a new life on Pandora. Pandora's a great Yes, yes. With the case so complete, the townsfolk will be drawn to the lodge in droves. Of course, someone should taste it, just to be sure. Oh, I would, but I'm, uh, super cursed with unspeakable lactose intolerance. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, no, no, not you, dear Vault Hunter. Simply feed a bowl to the Nibble Nomicon. We shall see soon enough if the recipe was a success. Oh, you did it! Those evil weirdos are gone, and we have got ourselves a wedding. Time to party! Xylorgus queso I have ever had. The cilantro perfectly overpowers and ruins any other redeeming flavors. It's so good, it makes me want to puke just to taste it again. <laughs> Sweet, savory success. 
I am most grateful for your assistance. Ah, oh, you did it! Those evil weirdos are gone. We have got ourselves a wedding. Time to party. Were you just about to say something? No? Oh, okay. It just looked like you were about to say something. 